Hello and welcome to the Wicker Library. My name is Aaliyah and today we are going to be talking about some books I am hoping to read in May. So if you didn't know, May is AAPI month, which is Asian American Pacific Islander month, and Read with Cindy, or as she's now known, with Cindy, is hosting a readathon for another year in a row. I always love this readathon so much, and that is the Asian readathon. And so there are five prompts <laughs> for this readathon. And so my books that I've picked out for this month are all catered towards those prompts and completing these reading challenges. So the first prompt in this Asian readathon is to read a book by an Asian author. And this is definitely a freebie. Um, all of the books that I have here, all three of them, are written by Asian authors. So that's just part of the event. Technically, a lot of the challenges also have options to read books just with Asian characters in them, but I prefer to read books by Asian authors for this readathon and in general. So there is that. There is also a, another subsection of this challenge where it asks to basically read books by different ethnicities of Asian people for this readathon. So all three of my books are written by Asian authors, but also authors of different ethnicities. So moving on to the second prompt, we have read a book featuring a friendship between two Asian characters. And for this book prompt, I have the book Sweet Bean Paste by Durian Sukagawa. I am really excited to look <laughs> to read this. I have been looking forward to reading this for quite a while. It really seems right up my alley and it just it sounds so sweet and so tender. The premise of this book is that there is the character I believe his name is Sentaro, and he is down on his luck. He is, has a criminal record, he drinks too much, and his dreams of becoming a writer is just a distant memory. So he's, he's going through it. <laughs> but what he ends up doing is befriending an older woman who makes the best sweet bean paste around, and the two of them create this friendship of sorts and there's you know there's there's drama there's plot i'm sure but it sounds like a very quiet book and it's translated from japanese and i'm really really looking forward to getting to this book this month the third prompt for this readathon is to read a book that focuses on identity and self-discovery so for this prompt i have chosen Bestiary by Kei Ming Cheng. I am so, so, so excited for this book. I know it is going to break me. I know it's going to wreck me. I hear it destroys people and that is very heavy, but I also hear that the writing is absolutely magnificent. So that's all I need. I know it is queer. I also know that it, I believe, is kind of surrealist fiction. So the first line of the blurb, which I love so much, is just one evening, mother tells daughter a story about a tiger spirit who lived in a woman's body. And that's all I need. That is all I need. I have a feeling I'm just going to love and devour this book. And yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into this. And yeah, it seems to follow a lot of themes of identity and self-discovery. And yeah, I just, I'm, I'm so looking forward to this book. So for the final book that I am going to try and read for both this readathon and in May is a book that will tackle two prompts. And those final two prompts are prompt number four, which is read a book that shows characters going on an adventure of some sorts. And this, the final prompt is read a book that features a character who is a hot mess or famous or eccentric. For this one, I'm choosing a character that is a hot mess and who's going on an adventure. And that is, I'm going to be reading the second book in the Poppy War trilogy, which is The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kuang. I am so beyond excited <laughs> to read this. I know I'm saying that for every one of these, but it's true. I read The Poppy War and rated it five stars, absolutely loved it, and I'm really looking forward to just continuing the story. And Rin, the main character in this book, is the epitome of just female rage. And she is a hot mess, but we love her anyway, even though we don't really approve of her actions. But like, if I was in her place, I would do the same things 
and the character work and the storytelling and the world building in these books is phenomenal. And I've only read a third of the series, but I know it's going to be a favorite series of all time. So I'm so, so just beyond excited to continue this series finally. <laughs> so those are all of the books that I want to read in May. I'm sure I'm going to read other books in May as well, but these are the priorities. These are the ones that I'm going to be starting the month off with. As for some other monthly plans that don't have to do with this readathon, I'm also looking forward to continuing my binge of the Heroes of Olympus series uh, by Rick Riordan. I'm reading that for the first time and I'm filming a vlog for it and all of that so I'm having a very very fun time with those books and yeah um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did make it all the way to the end feel free to comment any book that you're reading this month and especially if you're reading or have a favorite book by an Asian author or a creator who is Asian. Just recommend, uplift, all of that. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all those fun little things, and I will see you in the next video.